So hello guys, how are you today? Okay, so in this uh, short tutorial, again, another Photoshop video. And what I'm gonna do today, we're gonna show you how to create a GIF image. Okay, so, because we got quite a bit to go over, let's get started, okay? So I don't wanna go over and say what, what this is and what that does and stuff, because I already did that on the previous video, when we went through how to work it test on the either graphics and on the photos for your website. Okay, so, Let's get started. So, see what size I go here. So, file. So, then again, you go to file, new. Uh, we got 250 by 250. So, I'm gonna go, uh, you know, you can choose any dimensions you want. I'm just gonna go with 250 by 250. Okay, for this demonstration purpose. Okay, and I'm gonna use, okay, let's use my name. Okay, so it's on white color, so I just need to change the color here. So for this one, I'm gonna go with the red here. Let's go with the red. Just need to select with the red. So it should be, you know, this is pretty much same thing as working with test. So you should, should pretty much find this out. Uh, easy. So what happened there is because I had to basically accept the changes and then go uh, select, you know, uh, to accept the changes. Please select and then change the color. Okay. And then click accept that. Okay, now let's create another. Keep this symbol. Let's create another. Okay, I'll leave the problem here, my toolbar. Because it was out on ID and is hiding this thing. So, what I'm gonna do now is create another layer. I already explained that before as well what layers is. And then again, just gonna write my name again and I'm gonna use a different color for this one. So, again, I have to accept there. Right after I accept it, double click it. And for this one, let's create the yellow. Let's spread yellow. Yeah, that's good. It's good like that. Okay, accept the changes. And uh, let's create another layer. And then again. Okay, I'm using here three, three, three colors, but you don't really have to do that. It's up to you what you want to use. This is just an idea to show you how I do this. Okay. Uh, let's pick a blue here for this one. Click OK. OK, so three minutes gone already. OK, so that's it. So there you go. So three different colors. What I'm going to do now is just going to... Basically, I'm going to leave the red on the back. The yellow one, which is this one. OK, just going to slide this and put it right above it. OK, and the blue again, just going to... Select the wrong one here. Blue again is this one. Yeah. Just gonna put it right at the top. So it's all layers stuck above each other here. Okay, something wrong here. Got to capitalize the hand here. So it fits properly in it. <laughs> okay, there you go. So this is one one part done. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, without changing anything, I'm just going to click here on FX for the special effects. And I'm going to add a drop shadow. Okay, and the other ones as well, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Drop shadow there. And actually before I add the drop shadow, so you can see what this does. So I'm going to do now, okay, we are got to go. I'm going to go to Window. Okay, I'm going to select animation. Okay. All right, animation selected. Add layer. Okay, there's nothing happened here because I need to change this to a different layer here. Okay. So. 
What I'm gonna do now is just shorten these timelines here. Actually, let's shorten this this way. Shorten this one as well. Same size, all the same size. Notice I'm only changing the, the, the size of the timelines for my name. Okay, I'm leaving the layer 0, which is the bottom one, the background, as it is. Okay, then all I do, I just kind of move them here to the side like this. Okay, and now when I click play, there it goes a bit too fast. So I need to go back here. So I need to click on this icon here to, to change back here. And I need to change that. Let's change here to half second for now. Let's click play. There it goes. That's bad. Okay, you see, because I didn't add the shadow to the red, it actually doesn't look like the red is part of the of the thing. So, okay, so I need to get a bit faster this because time is going quick. So I'm going to do now, just to finish this, I'm going to add a drop shot. I need to make sure that this one is selected here on the layers. Let me drag this up here. So the one that got the eye on is the one that's showing on the a, on a animation, okay? So it's selected here. So in fact, drop shadow, and now they all go the drop shadow, and they all basically do the same thing. Okay. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna to give a quick effect. I'm gonna add the stroke. So the red, we're gonna gonna leave the red for. Uh, minute, which one is selected? It's this one. So one layer one. I'm trying to put all this in one time, so I'm just gonna add everything. So I'm gonna uh, use a stroke, okay? I'm gonna show you uh, a stroke here down to one. Okay, I'm trying to beat time here. Uh, Auto glue, bevel emboss, okay? So I'm gonna use for this one, and I'm gonna use the guardian as well, okay? Click OK, move to next one. Okay, is this one there? The eye appears there. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Inner, inner glow, bevel emboss, guardian, and stroke. I'm gonna use different color for this stroke. Let's use the blue for this one. Okay, let's put the stroke down to one. Okay, the red here again, exactly the same thing. Inner glow, cardian, stroke, and bevel emboss. Oh, it's not selected. This one. Okay, cardian, stroke. Remember the stroke down to change the color of the stroke for this one. There you go, I'll try to be time here, this thing is not gonna come out. And I gotta shoot the yellow here. Is the yellow? Okay, click okay. Okay, and let's look. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now this is pretty much done, so I'm gonna do here. You just change this background. Okay, I'm gonna change the background to the black. Okay, just to show you how this is done, ah, uh, it's locked. Unlock it. Okay. We have two guardians here. Guardian chosen. Like that. Okay. So you can see this better. Okay. I'm going to do. I just going to put it forever. And now this can actually be a V. Maybe. I'm going to choose a second for now. Okay. And then it's up to you when you do it. How you do it. Okay, click play, there it goes. So that's how you make a, a GIF image. Now the next step is saving. I go just a few seconds to save this. So all you do is file, save for the web and devices. Okay, uh, there is a GIF selected, 120, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just gonna click save. I'm gonna save very quick. So the life <laughs> to, to be time here really. So 948 is saved. So now I just go here to my desktop, open with okay. You're gonna have to open with 
Firefox or Internet Explorer, whatever you go. And there it goes. So that's how you make a GIF image. So all you need to do is upload it to website. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Zenuns. Bye-bye for now.